Good morning, Colorado. Welcome to a Friday edition of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Hurst, and today we have a special edition of Local Biz Buzz. We have Jed from the Piper Inn, Piper from the Piper Inn, Jason from Crush Pizza, and all of them from Goat Sauce. Welcome, everybody. Thanks, Good morning. Larry. So, it's a little bit confusing, so we're just going to start with, tell us a little bit, Jason, about your restaurant, then we'll go to Jed and you tell us about your restaurant, then we'll get into the sauces. Perfect. Uh, Jason McGovern, Crush Pizza Guy, Crush Pizza and Tap. Uh, we are located at 1200 West 38th Avenue in the north side of Denver, Highland neighborhood. I've uh, been there for six years. We specialize in pizza, Duh. wings, and beer. Duh. Duh. Right on. Uh, <laughs> Jed Levin, Piper Inn. Uh, it's been in my family 53 years. We're at 2251 South Parker Road, uh, cooking up some, some of Denver's most legendary wings. All right. Now, uh, Recently, you started the Goat Sauce Company. Who's going to talk about Goat Sauce? Uh, I'll take the lead there. Okay. Um, so I had the idea for Goat Sauce, uh, gosh, probably two or three years ago at this point. Um, you know, the Piper Inn's got some of the most legendary wings. Uh, our Asian hot sauce is truly a legend in, in the Denver we wings scene. Um, and, you know, I had this feeling that uh, we could do more with it um, and cut I I also have this like lamentation that independent restaurants are not well represented uh, in terms of being able to market themselves right um, so the idea came to me to start a sauce company to give independent restaurants a chance to bottle their sauces in a professional way and market it on more than just one channel, more than just hand sales in the restaurant, but uh, online, in other restaurants, at grocery stores, at meat markets. Um, so goat sauce is kind of the product of that, uh, that train of thought. Um, I approached Jason with the idea uh, about a year ago. Yeah, almost yeah, a year ago, ago, six months yeah, ago, something yeah. like that. Um, certainly the pandemic uh, accelerated the, the plan here as well. Um, people are doing a lot of cooking at home um, and restaurants are certainly benefiting from the ability to sell groceries at this point. Um, so uh, that's everything I have to say about goat sauce for now. <laughs> so goat sauce stands for? Ah, uh, yes. Goat sauce stands for greatest of all time. Um, the, the, the point of the name is that we're going to get the greatest sauces from every restaurant, starting in the Denver area, but potentially going out from there, um, and bring the greatest sauces of all time into our portfolio. And so, will these four always be available? Uh, that's the plan. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 And you'll just keep adding to the portfolio. The portfolio will grow will and grow. People, yeah. Will people be on for a month and just visiting their sauces, or I'm, once their sauce is on, it's on? Uh, no, I think we'll have a. a you know, a well-rounded rotation of different sauces that we bring in under the goat sauce brand, then labeled with either Piper or Crush or whoever else we decide to bring on at some point. Um, I think they'll have the ability, the other restaurateurs, again, to market under the goat sauce brand. We can cross promote with them. Um, we have the ability to then share their sauces and their successes with other restaurants, not only other restaurants, but direct to consumer as well. So you'll be able to order these sauces primarily from us, you know, 24 seven, and then we'll have other independent restaurants coming on board that uh, will we'll showcase their sauces as well. And it's a symbiotic relationship between Goat Sauce and the restaurateurs who are also, you know. Let's jump into the four yeah. sauces that we are That's running with you. right now and describe them and what restaurant they are. So this is Golden Goat. Uh, this is the brainchild of Kwame Smith, the kitchen manager at the Piper Inn. Um, Kwame is absolutely brilliant at creating amazing sauces from relatively simple ingredients. Uh, this one is a tangy Carolina style barbecue sauce with a little bit of Cajun heat on the back end. Um, this is a special sauce. It goes on anything. Uh, we brought it in under the goat sauce brand because it is kind of the genesis of the name of the brand. Um, but you can find this at, uh, 24 seven at the Piper Inn. Okay. I believe that's our Buffalo Green Chili uh, from Crush Pizza and Tap. This was our award-winning uh, sauce uh, from Chicken Fight, which was a few years ago. Who knows with, with the pandemic if that's ever coming back, but we won Best Wing in Denver with this sauce. So this is our Buffalo sauce that then we 
basically take uh, four different types of chilies. Two are Hatch New Mexico chilies and then a ha jalapeno and habanero and we reconstitute those dried chilies back into our buffalo sauce and then we toss those puppies, toss those wings in that sauce and then we put a little bit of the dried flake back on top of the wings and so that's what we'll be showing you here today too. Another uh, crushed pizza tap sauce, this is going to be our maple sriracha. Uh, it sounds like an odd choice of things to add together, maple and sriracha, but the sweet and, uh, and a thick maple sauce with a spicy sriracha. It's got a lot of ginger flavor on the back end. Just gives it a, a totally different feel. And a flourish totally different, of ginger, a one flourish, might say. A flourish of ginger, <laughs> yes, one was, would say. Uh, it gives it a great just mouth feel, and it's got a great Asian flavor to it, and not to be confused with the next one at all, because they're totally no, different. No, they're not even the Yeah, same planet. This sauce to me uh, bears no introduction. Um, <laughs> this sauce has been in the Denver area for 40 something years at this point. Uh, it came straight over from a Cantonese family um, who emigrated in the 80s, uh, worked with my dad for 35 years. Um, this, is, this is our most legendary sauce. Um, I guess I have to describe it a little bit. Uh, it's, a, it's a garlic chili sauce with, um, with some oyster sauce on the back end. Uh, it's spicy and tangy and salty um, and addictive and yeah the only thing that this sauce ever does to anybody is make you want more <laughs> and obviously these sauces and we're showcasing wings today because that's what we were just talking about but um, you know they're good on everything I mean J Jed had mentioned that the uh, golden goat pork yeah. fish I mean anything you want I like it on rice it's rice. delicious on rice and same thing with the Asian hot beef yeah. Rice, uh, tofu. We've had uh, customers, you know, send us photos of them using it on tofu with broccoli, uh, buffalo green chili. Same thing, pork, chicken wings. The buffalo green chili I put on eggs every time I make them, and it's like unreal. It's delicious. One of my favorite things about this company so far has been experimenting with recipes at home, um, and you know, I I think that that is where this company can really excel, right? Customers don't have access, or consumers in general don't have access to restaurant grade sauces at home. They just don't have access yeah, to it. The stuff and that they buy on the shelves is. It's not some of like it's, this. And some of it's great, obviously, because we've all bought that kind of stuff I and mean, we have it in our fridges. This is a whole different quality of sauce. This is coming from a mostly local uh, ingredients and then also local providers so I mean we might expand outside of Denver but currently right now these sauces and the one we're going to talk about here in a second are all local operators who need support from you guys to uh, help perpetuate their dreams and, and it's really important to support local obviously all the time and especially over the last couple of months and yes so we talked about this and this is really cool and i'm going to rep their hat today this is what i'm doing this is the king of wings hat they've been on this show right <laughs> yeah, yeah so they're going to be our first uh company that's going to come on uh on board with us so instead of it just being crushed pizza and tap just being the piper in goat sauce is going to expand and bring on another uh, local um, restaurateur to feature their bourbon buffalo sauce, which is a phenomenal sauce. We're going to pour it on Jed's wings right now. It's just delicious. It's a well-rounded sauce. Uh, there's no bourbon, and there's bourbon in it, but it's all cooked out, so we don't have to worry about that. So right now, I'm guessing there's three ways to buy these sauces, right? At the Piper, at Crush, and online? That's correct. And you're shipping yes. nationwide? Yes. Yeah, shipping nationwide. The website is goat-sauce.com. Yeah, just stay like that for a while. <laughs> That's your best asset. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> Jerk. Uh, let's have some wings. Yeah. All right. I'm going to pour these on, too. Just a little buffalo green chili, the maple sriracha. This bourbon buffalo, I'm telling you, other than what we have in our portfolio, is my favorite sauce in Denver. Yeah, we, we the three of us went up to visit King of Wings. Hey, <laughs> I'm on your roll. All right, what's I'm the going, website again? I'm going breakfast. Goat-sauce.com. Thanks for coming in, everybody. Good to see everybody. Uh, we'll see you today at 11:30 for an episode of What's for Lunch. We have Casa Mariachi coming in from Parker. Let's eat. These guys. Um, <laughs> let's eat. You gotta do your plugs, man. <laughs> mm. So good. The bourbon buffalo on your way.